Open Google Chrome and go to google.com. If you aren't already signed in, sign in now. Click the Groups link in the black bar across the top of the page. Then click the red Create Group button. In this example, I'll be making a group for my first period biology class. The group email address field will be automatically populated based on the group name provided. I'm creating a mailing list that will only be used by myself as the teacher. I'll select the default group type, email list. Because the group members will be a static set of students, I'm going to uncheck all organization members in the view topics drop down. I want to be the only user who can post to this group, so I'll uncheck all options except for owners of the group in the post drop down. I want to invite only the students in this class to join this group, so I'll select only invited users in the join the group drop down. Double check all of your settings. If everything looks good, click the red create button at the top of the screen. You'll receive a confirmation message that the group has been created. Click invite people to join this group to invite your students. Add members by name or email address, then supply an invitation message. When complete, click the blue send invites button. Invitees will receive an email with a link that they'll need to click on to become a member of the group. List setup is now complete. Click the mail link in the black bar to open Gmail. Click Compose to create a new message and address it to the group email address that was just created. Add text to the subject and body. Attach any applicable files, then click Send to send the email to all group members. Click Drive in the black bar to access Drive. Right-click a folder you'd like to share with the group, then select Share and Share Again from the contextual menu. Click in the Add People text box, then type the group email address. I'm going to use this folder to supply my class with digital handouts, so I'm going to give them view-only permissions. I'll click the green Share and Save button to grant the group access. All group members now have view access to this folder. As you can see, Google Groups is a simple and effective tool for communicating with your students.